It's very important that growers make sure their canola is less than 30% seed moisture when they apply glyphosate pre-harvest for weed control. If they apply it when it's greater than 30% moisture, unacceptable residues can be left on the seed. Unfortunately, the assessment of seed moisture is not super easy for farmers to assess on their own in the field. So we correlate that to a phenotypic measurement of seed color change. Seed color change refers to the percent of seeds that have changed color on the main stem of the plant. At 50 to 60 percent seed color change, growers can be confident that the seed moisture is less than 30 percent. And what you're looking for at that time is on the main stem of the plant, the bottom third of the seeds would be totally brown or black in color. The middle third would be kind of speckled and, and mottled. And the top third would still be green, but nice and firm to roll and you'd no longer see any mushy or translucent seeds on the plant. So it's very important when we're, when we're looking at applying pre-harvest glyphosate that we time that application to the least mature areas of the field. So we want to see that those greenest areas or least mature areas are at 50 to 60 percent seed color change on the main stem. We're really all in this together to follow the Keep It Clean steps. All members of the value chain, including growers, life science companies, egg retailers, buyers, exporters, processors, and industry groups have a responsibility to maintain our markets and keep them open.